In an install script project, the user interface and behavior of the installation is controlled by a script. In order to look at the default script that was built by the project assistant, we need to go to the behavior and logic group and click on the install script view. I'm actually already here. The script file that we use to write the installation is called setup.rul. We can see this name here at the top of the install script view. It's also over here under the files node. If we had more than one script file in our installation, all those files would be listed here and they all would have a .rul extension. Now we can look at the script and see that there are similarities with the Visual Studio 2008 IDE. Namely, we have a drop down list that contains the names of all the functions in the script. It's actually categorized. And we notice that there's syntax coloring that is prevalent throughout the script. You can change this coloring if you want, but I've never had a need to do it. Also in the install script view, when you compile a script, the output window opens at the bottom. And if there are errors, they will be listed in the window. And when you double click on an error, you will be taken to the offending line. So just to demonstrate that, we can uh, do something like this. We'll compile the script. And now we get an error. And this uh, it says this XXX complete is an undefined identifier. So we double click on the line for the error and it takes us to the line, just like Visual Studio. Okay. Now in a project created installation, each function in the script is an event handler that is called in response to an event. So we can go up here and click the event category list and see the different categories of events in a script. We have the initialization, before move data events, move data events, after move data events, miscellaneous events, and advanced events. And hover over here for each specific category, it has the events in that category. Now most of an installation's user interface is defined in the following event handlers. On first UI before, on first UI after, on maint UI before, on maint UI after, on update UI before, on update UI after. In our project assistant created installation, the dialogues that were chosen during the installation interview are found in the on first UI before event handler. You should know that in a first installation or initial installation, on first UI before and on first UI after are called. In a maintenance installation, on maint UI before and on maint UI after are called. And in an update installation, on update UI before and on update UI after are called. So why do the event handlers have the words before and after in them? It's because a before event handler is called before the data or file transfer has begun. Likewise, an after event handler is called after the file transfer has taken place. 